doctor's bag is a bit of a fading memory, but decades ago, when many family doctors still made house calls, it was a familiar sight. A place to carry a blood pressure cuff, maybe a thermometer and a stethoscope. Well, now a startup based right here in our region has set out to reinvent the doctor's bag and put an entire clinic inside. And of course, it connects to the cloud. The new product's called Clinic in the Bag, and the company's called Rejuven. Evans Augustine is the company's CEO, and welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, and this is it, right? A whole clinic in a bag. A whole clinic in a bag. It's uh, basically anyone who has this bag is a walking clinic. It's got almost all the tools in it that you would find if you went to the emergency room, right? Except pr pretty much except for the x-ray. That is correct. So it has tools to take all your vitals, tools to screen for your heart. We've got to open it up. Let's look so at it sure, while you're talking sure, about it and let sure, people see it. Sure. And then we can talk about why and, and sure. what you think the, sure. the opportunity is here. Sure. So this is what a, a, a healthcare provider, not necessarily the doctor, right? This could That's be correct. a nurse, this could be an EMT, a, a medical technician might That's take correct. this directly to the patient though, right? So the, these tools are set up so that anyone practically can actually administer the physical exam wherever it may be, at the patient's home, at the patient's workplace, in a kiosk, at an airport, and then have a doctor come in where the doctor is provided with uh, actionable information so that they can make diagnostic decision and disease discovery. Well, and so, and so what's in the bag? So we have, we have a blood pressure cuff, we have a tool to do complete, complete heart screening, tools to uh, screen for the lung, a thermometer, we have uh, a continuous monitoring of your heart rhythm, we have an iPad, of course. Okay. We have uh, a weight scale, and we have tools to actually do labs and also uh, an ultrasound. So, so you has, could do a urinalysis so or something? So you could do your analysis on, 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 on site. On site, and with a finger prick, you can get your complete lipid panel. You can get your total cholesterol, the good cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, triglyceride, etc. So unlike my old Dr. Forrest back in Dover, Delaware, with his leather bag, I, 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 where he might have the, the, the stethoscope or the whatever, these then all connect electronically through the iPad to the cloud? That's correct. So we're using the ubiquity and the ease of use of mobile technology to interface with all these tools and then have the doctor the information that he or she may need to discover any diseases or any diagnostic decision that the doctor has to be made so that you can be on your way to get well. Hmm. And, and that may be uh, prescribing you with, uh, with the appropriate medicine so that you could uh, uh, alleviate the issue that you may have, or even further uh, refer you to a, uh, to a specialist. And, and so, so, uh, so the, the nurse or whatever can be with the patient. The doctor then could be pretty much anywhere in the world. Exactly, Bill. So the doctor could be in another city. The doctor could be in another continent. So for example, we did a, we did a, a validation in India. So we had uh, a, a medical professional in the field in rural India, and we had a doctor right here in Pittsburgh who was able to diagnose uh, a very dangerous uh, heart abnormality and essentially saving that person's li life from Pittsburgh while that uh, 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 the person was being examined in India. Well, you know, you hear about this thing, telemedicine, you know, but it, it always seems like it's really fancy specialties, right? You got to get to that one neurosurgeon somewhere, but they're usually working with another hospital who can do all the initial screening and labs. This sort of really closes the gap and brings it all the way down to the family medicine level. That is correct. So we, when we started this, we, we, we had a group of doctors and wanted to know using today's technology, looking at the gap that may exist, that exists currently actually, between people in need of care, where you look at, for example, in the United States, half of all adults have at least one chronic condition. Wow. Right, and that problem is even more pronounced in emerging markets, where you have upwards of 75% of populations that don't have access to the most basic healthcare needs. So those doctors, those tools, were based on what doctors told us that they need to make at least 80% of the time, a proper diagnostic decision. Hmm. And, and be, at the same time, be able to do that in a way where they don't need to be with the patient. Okay, so, so again, we were able to close the gap between uh, people in need of healthcare and those 
uh, uh, people providing health care. So the company's been around for a few years now. You're only getting to the point now that you're sort of rolling this out worldwide as, as a real product? That's correct. So we spent, we've been, uh, we've been pretty busy, Bill. We, <laughs> we spent uh, the last few years, uh, you know, talking to doctors, uh, validating uh, the solution. We also spent the last year specifically uh, providing these tools to medical professionals so that we can validate the logistics and what it would take for these medical professionals to actually administer physical exams. Mm. Uh, so now we're ready to, uh, to roll out the, uh, uh, the, the complete uh, reinvention of, of primary care where again we set out to democratize how primary care is being administered where you know it, it doesn't depend on currently you, it, it's based on where you are. Uh, if you're in an urban uh, area, you may have care. With this tool, it totally, totally neutralizes the lack of medical professional and those in need of care. Well, and, and then you think about the issue of primary care physicians general uh, you know, aging out. Uh, they're a big problem across the country. So even some of those urban areas, it's not all that easy to find the primary care physician anymore. That is correct. So there is a certain level of convenience, and also it's, it's, it's fairly inexpensive. So we created these tools with the emerging markets in mind. So that allowed us to make some early decisions in terms of the technology that we use and some of the tools that we're able to uh, to incorporate into this to make it cost effective. Really exciting. If people want to find out more about the company Rejuven and the product Clinic in a Bag, how do they find you? Clinic in a Bag, clinictodoor.com and rejuven.com. Clinictodoor.com. Evans Augustine. Really cool. Congratulations. Thank you, Go Bill. Go there and save the world. Yep. Love Thank it. you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah. Well, so now that we've brought back the doctor's bag and the house call, how about same-day doctor's appointments? Allegheny Health Network has done just that, and in just a few moments, we'll find out why. We're heading back to the future of healthcare after this short break. Stay with us.